Welcome back to Hillaby Creek. Uh, so last time I was talking about getting, leasing the um, yarder so that we could do the moving trees around a little bit easier. But thinking about leasing, I realized that we can lease a tractor to make the silage. And in making silage, we will make up the money, I think, quicker or make it in addition to doing the logging to buy the yarder. So that's why I'm back here. We're gonna jump in the truck. I'm gonna go get the flatbed and we'll go to the store and lease ourselves a tractor. So I'll meet you over at the store. Okay, at the store, I realized something as I was looking through and researching which tractor would be good. I finally realized what searching by brand would be good for <laughs> after all of this time. So then I can just click on John Deere and see all the John Deere stuff since we want to keep it a John Deere farm. But I was looking at this large frame, or what is it, a 6R? Yeah, large frame 6R. We want to make sure it's got a three point on the front. The engine, that'll have 223 horsepower, which is enough to run that mower. Uh, the tires are probably fine like they are. Roof is fine. Beacon, we don't need a front loader on this one, but we do need... GPS. We don't need it, but if I don't get it now when we lease it, we can't change the configuration later. So I will do that. We have 16,555 and we can lease this for 9,741. So we are going to do that. Let's look at it. Oh, look at her. So now with the lease to own, Every month as I make payments on it, that comes off the total. So eventually we'll be able to just buy it outright once we have enough money and the leases run far enough. That's a nice looking tractor. I'm going to go ahead and load it up and get it to the farm and I'll meet you over there. Here we are. Let's get it unloaded. Get it hooked up to those mowers. Put the front one on first because that back mower is a little heavy even for this. I can unfold that one again. Right where we left them the other day. Ready for use. Okay, let me get that truck parked somewhere. Where are we going to put this? Well, I guess we could probably just back it in there. Let's get it right in here out of the way. Perfect. Turn off the lights. All right. Let's make sure this thing actually works right. So that is turn it on, lower it down.
Are you gonna lower it too? Oh, it is lowered. Oh, it was already lowered, okay. We're on swath dropping. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, now that's what I'm talking about. That's gonna be so good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this mowed and then I'll get back with you. Actually, I'm gonna mow it and bale it and then pick up the bales probably all at once here in a time lapse just because you've seen all that before and uh, I will see you when I'm done with that
Well, that certainly seems to be the quickest and easiest that process has gone. So that's good. I don't know why I parked that in there. We're going to need it tomorrow morning for the trailer anyway. So I think I'm going to go ahead and go to bed and we'll go sell that silage. We have $6,814 right now. So that should be plenty for our loan payments and stuff. Hopefully. Um, let's go to bed and find out. Okay, so we ended up with two, three thousand dollars or so worth of payments overnight. Oh, do, 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 do. Where's the money tab? Money tab. We paid. Yeah, something like three thousand dollars overnight. I don't know. That's got all the info in there from buying all the equipment for the logging and selling all those logs and everything so it's hard to parse out exactly what was just that and i realized that we can use the truck so i'm going to take the truck go sell those i might need to put this bed down to pull out from underneath this gooseneck there we go Put that back up. All right, I'm going to go. Well, first, let's verify that it's silage. We can hook up to it either way. Should be silage already. Eh, it was pretty late in the day, though. We may have to wait a few hours. Let's see. Silage, yes. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go sell these. I'll meet you over at the store. Okay, so here we are again. Let's see what we end up getting. There's only 18 bales this time, but I believe the baler is almost full with another bale. Oh yeah, see that's significantly quicker making cash. We've already got almost 80,000. That was $76,000 worth of silage. So we do that another what two three times we can pay off the tractor and buy that yarder so i think this is definitely the right way to go there is those grass fields over here near where our logging camp is how much do those cost oh yeah they're super cheap the only thing is then we'd have to get all our equipment down to them what's the land around them cost we can buy all that land for sixty thousand dollars yeah the the land on this map is not necessarily the most realistic priced if you couldn't tell well there's a whole bunch of fields back there what does that buy us oh that would buy us all around all those fields plus that house that's over there plus all the farms or uh, trees that forest there but I think I'd rather wait we'll save up doing what we're doing yeah because there's nothing that's super close to this we may expand a little bit take this whole corner up here most of it leave a little like a tree line at the river a tree line along the fence line and hollow out the rest of that and turn that into the grass field too just to get a little bit more each time I don't know. Maybe not. Either way, we're definitely going to make silage a few more times and then see what we can buy. But that will be it for today. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out. 
Uh, if you've been yelling at me to do this ever since I messed up and sold all of our tractors at once, trying to buy one that would work, then, well, here you go. Now we're doing silage again. So, but I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye.